Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you guys are looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. So I ran my little butt over to Sephora this morning and I picked up the new Lancome tint tint idol care and glow foundation it is a serum foundation i'm really excited to try it out i just heard about it literally like this morning um and i want to try it out i was really excited so if you guys are interested in this then keep on watching this is going to be a combination of a first impressions as well as a full wear test throughout the day so at the end i'm going to check in and let you know how it wore throughout the entire day so you guys can kind of come to a conclusion on if you think that this foundation is worth it if you think this is something that you would utilize and love for your collection i have tried their tint idol uh the matte coverage foundation probably it's been a year or so now since I've tried that and I honestly was not a fan I felt like it was a little bit too drying on the skin it kind of emphasized my textures I ended up returning it because I just didn't really like it but recently I have been loving tinted moisturizing type of foundations serum foundations really anything that has a little bit of skincare benefits in it has really looked nice on my skin and I felt like this would be an even better foundation from Lancome for me. Now I do categorize myself under combination skin. I could throughout the year be more oily or I could be more normal, but overall I would say I'm combo. I do typically produce oils throughout the day, especially in my T-zone. I do get a bit oily on my cheeks as well, so I guess I'm like slightly more oily than combo. I don't really know, but there's that information in case you want to know. I will leave all of my foundation matches down below, and I do want to note that my skin tone does change throughout the year. I get very tan during the summer, and I get fairly pale in the winter time, so those may vary based on when I try the foundations, but overall, that's kind of the general area of where my foundation matches are, so again, I'll leave those down below for you guys to utilize. So this is a 24 hour healthy glow serum foundation. It has buildable medium coverage with SPF 27 and it hydrates and smooths the skin with mandelic acid and hyaluronic acid. Now to give you a very short rundown on hyaluronic acid and mandelic acid, as we know, hyaluronic acid is a moisturizing humectant. It holds its weight in water. It holds about a thousand times its weight in water. So in doing that, it gives your skin sort of a plumping effect. So your fine lines and wrinkles are more diminished. Your skin appears to be much smoother. And mandelic acid is actually an AHA. So it's a very gentle um chemical exfoliant so that also helps with fine lines and wrinkles and textures pores and all of that stuff so that is infused within this foundation however i will say that when skincare ingredients are infused in foundations or products in general those results that you see on the websites as well as on online is probably with use every single day for a set amount of weeks it says it has an 82 percent hydrating serum base formulation it comes in 30 shades i bought mine at sephora you can buy it at sephora lancome online probably at lancome counters as well and it is 47 dollars so Roughly with tax, it's about $50. Pretty expensive for a foundation, but as we know, Lancome is going to be on that higher end luxury makeup side. For my shade, I picked up 335W. I swatched 335 as well as 355N because I am a neutral undertone, but I went with 335W because the 355 seemed a bit dark, even though the undertone was about right it was a bit dark so i figured i put a little bit on my uh, neck with this one and it looked pretty good so i think this is something that i can work with as you can see on the back of the hand it does run down quite a bit which isn't a bad thing it is going to be a little bit more of a lightweight again serum foundation feel 
and just kind of like rubbing it on the back of my hand it does feel very lightweight it's definitely like a true liquid versus foundations that are more moussey to prime the skin i don't really want to mess with the finish or the coverage or anything of the foundation so i'm just going to go in with the moisturizer this is just the tatcha dewy skin cream and i'm going to put this all over my face now it does say that you can apply it with your fingers, a sponge, or a brush. Your finger and sponge is going to give you more of a light coverage while a brush is going to give you more of a medium coverage. And I think I'm going to go in with a brush and then further blend it out with my sponge. That's what I typically do with foundations and foundation application. So I'm just going to go in with like how I normally would do this so we can see exactly how this would look on an everyday basis for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pump some on to my fingertip. And we're gonna go in and just apply this. So I got it in my hair. It does have a very slight scent to it. It almost smells like, mm, is that this? It almost smells rosy, like a little bit floral. This color match is actually really good for me right now. And as you guys may or may not know, I'm not the best at uh, shade matching myself. So I'm very pleased this time. All right, and here's one side of the face done with just one layer of the foundation. As you guys can see, I still have quite a bit of a glow, but it definitely did tone down my skincare on my skin, but it looks really good. This shade match is very nice, I must say. Looks very, very natural. I still see my freckling right here, so that is to be expected with a medium coverage. Yeah, that looks quite nice. I really like the way that's looking. So let's go ahead and put it on this side of the face as well. Alrighty, so this is the full face with one layer of that foundation. I honestly think that this is looking so beautiful. I love this finish. I'm definitely going to have to set it if I want it to last throughout the entire day. That's typically how it goes whenever I use a glowier base or foundation product, which is perfectly fine because I really like using hydrating and moisturizing and dewy base products and then just setting it because I feel like that gives me the most natural looking complexion. The way that this is sitting on this skin, I will definitely say it's giving me that natural glow finish that it said that it would on the website. I am seeing my freckling right here um, on the tops of my cheeks. I did avoid my under eyes because I don't typically like going in too far up to the eye with foundation and then going on top with concealer. I like to only use concealer because that helps prevent the creasing there. But overall, I'm not seeing any patching. Nothing is looking too cakey. Everything is kind of melting into the skin really nicely i will give you guys a close-up so you can kind of see what i am seeing but so far first impression it's very beautiful it's giving me a lot of hydration a lot of glow so i don't think i'm going to go in with any more foundation i think this is about where i want this coverage to be so now i'm going to go in with the rest of my makeup i'll put it down below for you guys to see just so you guys know my process i typically go in with my creams and liquids first and then i'll set anything down with powder blushes bronzers setting powder all of that stuff and then i'll come back and show you guys what the face is looking like Alrighty guys, here is the skin with all my liquids and creams on top of the foundation. I haven't set it with powder or anything. This is what it's looking like right after all of those things. And it looks flawless. It looks amazing. So my products went on the foundation really nicely. Nothing really moved around. The foundation didn't really budge. I think today I want to go in with my Say Air Set Powder in the shade Translucent Medium. And I'm just going to take this firstly all over the T-zone and then onto the rest of the face so I can get ahead of my oils since I do get oily throughout the day all over the face. I'm going to start on the side of the nose and then I'm going to work my way up. I find that this evenly distributes the powder and I'm not just caking it on under my eyes, which in turn helps with creasing throughout the day. And now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the BK Beauty 103 brush. I'm going to swirl it into that powder and then tap it along the rest of my face. So here is the face freshly powdered. I think this is about where I want it to be in terms of powdering and it looks amazing. My skin 
looks so natural nothing is like really sitting on the skin badly now i will say that if you do tend to have larger pores specifically in this area on your cheeks and next to your nose it may sort of emphasize that because this product is so hydrating and the reason i'm saying that is because even though i use this air set powder i still have a good amount of glow you could definitely go in with a heavier duty powder but i wanted to keep everything very fresh faced very dewy this is the look that i was going for and i don't think that any of my pores look super accentuated i don't typically have too much of a problem with larger um enhanced pores i think the skin is looking amazing i still really like the shade match it hasn't oxidized or anything while i was putting on my products all of my products laid really well on top of the foundation when i was applying them it didn't move the foundation around or anything which is nice because being a serum foundation i was a little concerned that it was going to slip and slide on the skin overall everything is going really great i'm really enjoying this so far so i'm going to do a little check-in in a couple of hours like an afternoon check check in and then I'll do another one at the end of the night so it is 12 50 in the afternoon I'll probably check in in a couple of hours to show you guys exactly how this is sitting on the skin um but yes yeah, so far so good Alrighty guys, it is about 6.20 in the evening, so it's been about 6-ish hours since I applied this foundation and this full face of makeup. I planned on checking in earlier, but I got really caught up with work, so I didn't end up doing that. However, we're going to look at the face now. I have gotten pretty shiny, and I will say, I was like looking at my face in the mirror every like hour or so, and it wasn't until probably two hours ago that my skin started to really like like show oils before that my oils really did not look that bad like compared to other foundations typically i'll start getting pretty oily within the like three to five hour mark but this one actually held up a lot longer than i anticipated especially with it being a serum foundation i could definitely use a blotting sheet i could definitely use a little bit of powder but overall it's sitting really nicely and nothing has transferred or smeared so even though i do have those oils the makeup has stayed put now it has kind of like faded on this acne spot right here but that's really the only thing that I'm seeing everywhere else I can still see that the foundation is there I don't see any sort of smearing or smudging which is very very impressive I also took a little bit of footage while I was in natural light so I'll insert that clip here and as you can see the skin just looks nice and glowy it almost looks um, intentional the way that it's glowy I think that it's looking amazing for six hours of wear and I'll still check in later tonight so you guys can kind of see the rest of the wear and everything but so far super super impressed with how this is held up so this is my last check-in it's about 10 o'clock at night so it's been roughly around nine hours of wear and this is what this skin is looking like I haven't used a blotting sheet I haven't used powder all day because I wanted to see exactly how it would wear by itself like from start to finish without touching it up now ideally i would have gone in with like a blotting sheet throughout the day and then maybe powdered again if i were to wear it for this long like out or something definitely oily especially like right here in the t-zone i'm looking pretty oily but honestly the face even though it's oily still looks really fresh like the makeup the foundation hasn't really moved at all from what i can tell like if I went like this, I definitely have oil on my finger. So my full thoughts based on my first impression and this wear test, I genuinely really, really like this foundation. From the moment I put it on, I was really impressed. It feels super lightweight. It doesn't feel like you're wearing any type of liquid foundation at all. The color match was really impressive for me and the way that it like withheld my oils longer than a typical like serum based foundation would throughout the day, super impressive. I kind of expected it to get oily faster than any like typical foundation that's marketed as just you know a more traditional foundation formulation but this actually withheld those oils so well throughout the day definitely think that $50 for a foundation is really expensive I don't think I'll ever think that's cheap for a foundation but 
I can see myself wearing this a lot. It feels amazing on the skin and the fact that it just matches so well. I love the finish. I love the coverage. 10 out of 10 for this foundation for me. Let me know what you guys thought about this and if you're planning on picking this up or if you already have, let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable or both, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.